Today is January 28th, 2016. Um, committed to getting these trade recaps done, so I actually just got done sending some weights to meet their maker, but I'm here, committed, I'm back. So, but uh, just not anything that particularly interesting today. Um, Neo, Neos was the big miss of the day. Thought about hitting this at the like 1550s, but waited for 16. You see, I've got an alert here at 16. You know, I was hoping just for one more push and then short some stupid, like, uh, it, what is it? Like some water soluble ADHD treatment, but um, it just didn't get a fill. Uh, WTW, again, the same thing today. I was sitting up here in the 15, wanted, you know, saw this push, nothing. Uh, other than that, uh, nothing fit. I'm just at the point where I'm, I'm looking to short any spike on fit. Was bummed that I didn't get it in the 1650 level. Um, kind of was, was a good level yesterday. Pretty much everything, every time this thing jumps now, I'm going to look to fade it. So other than that, uh, AMDA, glad I stayed away from this one. I was short bias out of the open and, and, you know, was thinking about it in these 260s, 270s, but then was like, nah, I just didn't feel it. Fortunately, you know, huge rush into the 350s and then it held all day. So I'm glad I avoided it today. Now, tomorrow, probably number one watch. So that's it for misses. What did I trade today? Guess what? KMI, of course. Even though I said I was going to avoid all these stupid oil and gas plays, I, I end up trading an oil and gas play, and the probably the at this point it's one of the stronger ones. I mean, I could have. Why didn't I trade Enoch or ETE or WLL or all these others that popped and faded? But no, I take KMI. Still shorted overnight, just being stubborn. But you know, I was like. I had VWAP on watch, and it kind of kept banging around, and then into the close, it bumped VWAP. So I said, as long as it didn't push through that, I'll hold it. I'm short in the 1530s, so I'm right now, I am technically green, so I'm following my rule of only holding stuff green overnight, but I don't know. I mean, who knows? It's just, it's, it's tied to oil, and who knows what oil will do. Oil may go up, oil may go down. I don't know. So... The other trade I have, and again, I'm basically at scratch, is, is N-O, I-N-O. This is a Zika play. Ah, uh, you know, I, I started right, or actually I started right here on this pull. My first entry was at six, and then it pulled hard, and you know, I was like, okay, if it holds yesterday's level, I'll stick with it. Then it, it, it kind of started to grind back up so then I added in the no I added here in these 570s 580s so I've got an average of like 585 so I got a big push into the close on some PR and it was like okay this thing's gonna work it ran to six and you know again I'm, I'm, I'm long in the 585 area it was like okay this thing's gonna work then it faded all day, but or, or all afternoon. Now my this is my thought is the risk reward is decent because worst case I cover the previous day's levels. Best case the Zika news continues to flow. I mean, there's it's like I keep thinking about selling this thing, but like every five minutes there's some new Zika story, whether it's on Zero Hedge or whether it's on mainstream media. So that's what kept me in it. We'll see. Uh, you know, I will try and be patient with this, but if it cracks this 550, 560 level, I'm done. Uh, KMI will have a very, very short leash. I will, uh, if I don't get a gap down on this, I'm done because I'm so annoyed by these oil plays. Said I wouldn't trade them, but then I did. So uh, overall, I mean, an okay day. I basically am flat on the day, which... You know, I, I, things could be worse, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Well, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how tomorrow works.